If 3i Atlas accelerates at perihelion, everything changes. Proof of intelligent control is suddenly on the table. Days from now, a Manhattan-sized interstellar object slingshots around our sun. In a physics experiment, no human can rig. Scientists and defense agencies worldwide are watching. The stakes, either a new chapter for science fiction or a shattering answer to the question of alien engineering. Can energy appear from nowhere? The test begins October 30th. The object now, at the center of global attention, carries a name as unusual as its journey. 3i Atlas. Officially designated 3i slash 2025 Q3, it is only the third confirmed interstellar visitor ever tracked in our solar system. Detected by the Atlas Survey in Chile on July 1st, 2025, its discovery was announced by the Minor Planet Center a day later. Early images from the Hubble Space Telescope suggested a nucleus less than a kilometer wide, but its surrounding coma makes it appear, by some estimates, as large as Manhattan, a comparison that quickly caught the public's imagination. What sets 3i Atlas apart isn't just its origin. For the first time, an interstellar object was added to the International Asteroid Warning Network's official watch list. This step, reserved for bodies with potential impact risk or scientific significance, signaled a new level of scrutiny. NASA has kept details close, fueling speculation and debate. While the agency's official statements remain cautious, defense analysts have quietly begun tracking the object's path, reviewing its movements for any sign of non-natural behavior, a rarity in the world of comet observation. Within the scientific community, opinions diverge. The majority see 3i Atlas as a natural comet from another star, a relic ejected by distant gravitational chaos. But a vocal minority, recalling the controversies around one Eye Oumuamua, argue that certain features, its trajectory, its chemistry, leave room for more exotic possibilities. Dr. Lucia Herrera, leading the Atlas discovery team, captured the mood in her first internal report. We have never seen an object quite like this. Every hour brings new data and new questions. As the countdown to perihelion continues, the world is watching not just a rock from another star, but a real-time experiment in how we interpret the unknown. The critical moment for 3i Atlas arrives as it sweeps closest to the sun, an event astronomers call perihelion. This year, that window falls between October 29th and 30th, with the object passing about 1.35 astronomical units from our star, just outside Earth's own orbit. At perihelion, the laws of celestial mechanics are put to their most exacting test. The sun's gravity accelerates. 3i Atlas to its peak speed, a process described by the Oberth effect. Any change in velocity is most efficient when an object moves fastest, right at its closest approach. For natural bodies, this is a closed equation. The energy gained falling toward the sun is precisely balanced by energy lost as the object recedes. No more, no less. Conservation of energy sets a hard baseline. A passive comet, no matter how exotic, should exit with the same specific orbital energy it carried in, aside from minor nudges by planets or tiny pushes from outgassing. Astronomers will scrutinize every fraction of a meter per second, comparing pre- and post-perihelion trajectories. If 3i Atlas leaves the sun's grip 
with more speed than gravity alone can account for, and if all natural explanations are exhausted, the implications would be extraordinary. The days around perihelion become a live experiment, with the world's observatories watching for any sign that the object's motion breaks the rules written in Newton's laws. This is the reference line. Energy in must equal energy out. Any deviation, precisely measured, would demand an explanation beyond ordinary physics. Dozens of telescopes, both on Earth and in orbit, have been collecting data on 3i Atlas since its discovery. Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope have each logged hundreds of hours, tracking the object's position with sub-arc second accuracy. The Spheric infrared mission and a coordinated network of ground-based observatories, ranging from Chile's VLT to smaller robotic scopes in Australia and South Africa, feed a constant stream of astrometric and spectroscopic measurements into global databases. Mars orbiters, with a clearer line of sight during solar conjunction, provide crucial positional fixes when Earth-based instruments lose track. The first surprises appear in the raw data. On October 22nd, the VLT captures a sunward jet erupting from the coma, an image that races through slack channels among comet researchers. Early spectral analysis flags an unusually high ratio of carbon dioxide to water vapor, far above what's typical for solar system comets. A faint signature of atomic nickel, but little iron, triggers debate among planetary chemists. These signals remain unconfirmed, but stand out in the preliminary logs. A data curation lead summarizes the moment. We're seeing activity in wavelengths and ratios we didn't expect. Every instrument is pushing its limits, and we're logging everything. No assumptions. The world's sensors are primed, waiting to see if these anomalies persist as 3i Atlas swings through perihelion. Scientists have outlined a five-point checklist to separate natural cometary behavior from signs of engineering as 3i Atlas rounds the sun. First, any velocity or energy increase beyond what gravity and standard models predict will be scrutinized. Second, they will look for trajectory changes that appear directed, not random, and cannot be chalked up to known comet physics. Third, if the object accelerates without a matching burst of gas or dust, meaning no outgassing is seen in the spectrum, natural explanations weaken. Fourth, the detection of engineered material, such as unusual alloys or narrowband electromagnetic signals, would be considered extraordinary. Fifth, every anomaly must be confirmed by multiple observatories and pass independent peer review before any claim is accepted. Natural confounders, like asymmetric outgassing, solar radiation pressure, and measurement error are always weighed first. Only if all these can be ruled out does the door open to something beyond the ordinary. This is the standard. Proof requires convergence, not just a single surprise. On October 29th to 30th, 2025, 3i Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object, will reach perihelion at 1.35 astronomical units from the sun. For the first time, an object of this kind appears on the International Asteroid Warning Network list, drawing coordinated attention from NASA, the European Space Agency, and military analysts. Observatories worldwide are tracking for signs of an unexplained energy boost, a test based on the Oberth effect and the principle that a natural body should not gain extra velocity beyond known physics. Despite early reports of unusual carbon dioxide and nickel signatures, the five-point checklist for non-natural origin demands rigorous, peer-reviewed confirmation. As of this broadcast, the data remain incomplete and several findings unverified. The outcome 
will depend on transparent analysis and international scrutiny. Until then, 3i Atlas stands as the most intensely monitored interstellar visitor in history, a live experiment that may clarify or complicate our understanding of what enters from beyond the stars.